All right, here we go. Now this is game two in a best of three between AltQQ and Team IRG. AltQQ taking the first game after a 33 minute uh, match. So the score is one and zero right now. Team IRG still has the potential to come back. Needs to win these next two games to win the best of three series. So IRG. Right now, pressure's on them. LQQ is actually a new team, but proving strong in their introductory match in our series. So everyone's loaded in, and we're gonna move into the drafting phase of the game. LQQ has the first ban and the first pick this game. So they actually have pretty much a lot of leeway to ban whoever they want to ban because they, they did win the previous match they know what they're good at and uh, they know what team IRG is capable of pulling off but I IRG didn't really show too much strength in the last game so a pretty generic bans should come in from LQQ Razor yeah and IRG ban on the faceless void first pick is going to LQQ so team IRG should be looking to ban the Brewmaster maybe if they don't want to deal with the Brewmaster because it was actually Ten Brewmaster seconds. without a doubt that uh, caused IRG so much trouble in the last game. LQQ um, going for their second ban right now. Time. Going into reserve time actually. They ban out the Lycan. Yeah definitely don't want to deal with the Lycan but they could have uh, held out for the Lycan. They do have first pick. So, um, yeah, if, if, if you ban out the like, then it means you have something else in mind. Team IRG, ban out the Doom. Pretty standard. Uh, Doom is a very good utility hero uh, all throughout the game. Once he gets level 6, yeah, that's the best time to have a Doom. Because you can easily keep ganking and ganking and shut down the most important hero that they have. Whether it's the carry or the mid laner. So, Doom is banned out. And AltQQ have the first pick of this game. They might want to go with a different strategy other, uh, and not the Brewmaster this time. Because if they pick the Brewmaster, then IRG actually have the capacity to pick Death Prophet and uh, Shadow Shaman. Yeah, Death Prophet is actually a good counter to the Brewmaster because of the silence. Silence is pretty much instantaneous and can cancel uh Ready. primal split right on it uh, right as it's being casted but uh jakiro okay jakiro is not too uncommon a hero in our series but as a first pick okay this this might be a bit uh unconventional uh, um i have seen okay i have seen a jakiro played as a position one and not just in uh an amateur game it was a professional game actually that <laughs> jakiro was played as a position one farming role so we, we might see a bit of uh an unconventional play as well from this jakiro since it was picked first so um let's see where this brings us but team irg they have the back-to-back -back pick in response to the first pick of team at QQ so they they can go with the powerful pushing combo they can go with the death prophet shadow shaman combo since neither of them have been banned out but they might have something else in mind they can go with something like a uh, skywrath mage earthshaker pretty good support duo because they both have great level one skills and amazing range right from the get-go so uh, yeah, there we go. Skyrath Mage is picked up as the first pick. Great support. Um, useful through all of the stages in the game. Useful at level 1 right from the get-go because of that long range stun and the immediate 4 second slow. Uh, Im long range slow, uh, I meant, because it, it's not a stun. But it's a 4 second slow at uh, 40%. So really, really big um, effect there for a level 1 skill. Uh, they have the next pick also, so they, they might look for something that pairs well with the Skyrath Mage. I would say Earthshaker, but there are a lot of other heroes that go well with Skyrath Mage actually. So um, that's why Skyrath Mage is not too uncommon the first pick because 
you can you have a lot of leeway to draft around that Skywrath Mage. You don't really need to conform yourself to a specific kind of gameplay when you pick a Skywrath Mage. You can go for a team fight centric lineup, you can go for a pushing kind of lineup, you can even go for the standard uh protect your carry lineup with a Skywrath Mage. So IRG, let's see if they pick a hero that um is kind of a pace setting hero. Uh, that could determine how they play and how AlQQ kind of plays against them. They're burning through a lot of their reserve time. They only have 30 seconds left. 28 actually to pick this, this uh, second hero. It's only the second hero of the game. Uh, second hero of Team IRG, the third hero of the game. Tinker. So maybe they're overthinking it a bit. But they go with the nice. Tinker, all right. So Tinker didn't really pay off in their last game because they went... Uh, Tinker went head to head against the Brewmaster and the early ganks coming in from the Skywrath Mage and Disruptor actually made sure that the Tinker didn't have too much early farm and wasn't able to snowball as well as he was probably hoping to. But yeah, AlQQ respond to the Bristleback. So no Brewmaster this time. The Bristleback however is picked. So yeah, um, this might be interesting because uh, Bristleback is physical damage, actually has decent move speed, but Ten against the Tinker, um, I don't know, I don't know. You you lose quite a bit of damage from the laser, but yeah, you still got those uh, Quill Spray damage, and um, let, let's see how this is lane. Bristleback is uh, a very tanky hero, um, kind of... Uh, a uh, pest to deal with in an uh, offlane. If if you're not going tri lane against, against the Bristleback, then you're definitely gonna get a hard have a hard time dealing with him. So Team IRG ban out the Viper. Alt QQ ban out the Clockwork. Go. Yeah, the Clockwork. I don't know why they ban ban out the Clockwork because Clockwork is actually one of the better heroes against Tinker. So they might have wanted to pick that Is for themselves. But either way, Clockwork is banned out. Yeah. So this might be a sign. This might be a sign that they're already planning to lane the Bristleback on the uh, safe lane, perhaps, as a farming Bristleback because uh, the Clockwork is one of the, perhaps one of the few heroes that can actually go against the Bristleback in the off lane, as an off laner because nah. Clockwork is pretty, pretty safe with those cogs. Radiant. So can keep himself at a distance and can make sure he just doesn't die yeah. to that Bristleback early on. But yeah, here we go. Team IRG take out the Brewmaster the second round of bans. They don't want to deal with that again. Probably got a bit of trauma from the previous game. But yeah, at QQ ban out the Centaur Warrunner. Centaur Warrunner is a great support hero. Um, deals lot of, lots of damage early on because of that double edge. And is able to help his team immensely with the Stampede. You know, it's a free blink dagger at level 6. You can move your team in and out. A any hero across the map, you can oh, save them or cr uh, create an initiation for your supports because the is stampede is a global ability. So yeah, um, so a decent ban from AlQQ. But right now, Team IRG has the first pick after the second stage of bans. Let's see where they go from here. They have the Skyrath Mage, they have the Tinker, they have Ursa quite a bit of options right now. They pick up the Ursa Warrior, okay. So Ursa Warrior, pretty interesting. They might want to lane this with a Skywrath Mage. The Skywrath Mage long range, slow initiation with a concussive shot will allow the Ursa to just uh, rip an enemy to shreds with the Fury Swipe and the Overpower. You know, uh, if an enemy is slow, then that allows you to right click him to death with an Ursa. And you can even follow up with an Earthshock if you decide to get one point of that early <coughs> on. Um, but yeah, Ursa and Skywrath Mage, good laning buddies. Uh, might might see another support here later on to help out the Ursa even more. But right now it's AlQQ's turn to pick. So uh, yeah, they, they, they might want to have something against this Ursa because even the Bristleback won't uh, stand too long against the Ursa. And here you go, the Dazzle. Yeah, the, the Dazzle will keep you alive from the Ursa's right clicks. So th that's a good pick from AlQQ, but yeah, here we go. The Ursa Io. Now they have global presence. A while ago, the global presence was for AlQQ. They had the Spectre and the Nature's Prophet, but right now, Team IRG 
has the Tinker and the Wisp, the IO combo. So they'll be the ones who uh, can have um, better global presence, I would say. But the Batrider pick right now for Al QQ, yeah, this is gonna give Tinker a hard time because T Batrider is one of the better heroes to find Tinker. Any hero that gives flying vision, like the Clockwork, um. Flare or the Bat Riders Firefly, you can you can find the Tinker hiding in the trees. You can actually destroy the trees because of uh, from the Firefly. So Tinker might have a harder mid to late game because of the Bat Rider. So he he'll have to be a bit more wary of that. And the last bands came in. It was Death Prophet for Team IRG just to make sure that the Tinker has those towers to bank on in the middle to late game when he gets the boots up. And the Vengeful Spirit banned out by Alt QQ to prevent swapping from the Batrider ult. Yeah, uh, Vengeful uh, Spirit swap is actually quite a bit of a uh, good counter against the Batrider's lasso. You can swap either the Batrider or the guy he's lassoing. Uh, that immediately breaks the lasso. And you know, you can put yourself in a better position. And the last hero is gonna come in from. Uh, team IRG, they pick up the Timber Saw. Okay, so hmm, the Timber Saw is a good offlaner. Uh, can withstand a bit of damage, maybe even against the Bristleback in the late game. Uh, in the middle assassin. to late game, once he gets a bit of tankiness going up. But here we go, Templar Assassin, probably going to be the mid, if not on. Um, Maybe an offlaner since their uh, IRG is probably gonna lane Timbersaw as the offlaner. So um, Templar Assassin solo against the Timbersaw might not be too bad. So here we go. We're gonna have the last few players select uh, their heroes. Just the Batrider and Templar Assassin. Then we're gonna move on to game two. Game two of Al QQ versus Team IRG. Pardon me, I'm I'm a bit sleepy right now. Uh, been doing quite a bit of work early on, and even my partner right now, Salamene, is actually working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. but I'm here for you, Coach. So I'm gonna um I I'll be here <laughs> doing introductions for you, so you take a little bit of rest. Right. So we have here the second game between IRG and Al QQ. So for just to make it th make things shorter, I'm gonna call you A Q Q. I'm gonna call them AQQ, right? So it seems that they're gonna go for an early Roche before we can even do the introductions. So while they chip away at the at Roche's HP, we might actually, you know, just go through over the names of the characters quick. Okay, for Team IRG, playing now for the region team, we have Sids on the Timbersaw, Paul, 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 on the Scarlet Mage, Mix on the Ursa, Niers on the Tinker, and Meds on the um, Wisp. So I guess the, the, the general thing of the names is to have Zs in there. Meanwhile, for AQQ, we have ECT on the Dazzle, Mon on the Jastro, CDVR on the Bristleback, Adoy on the Batrider, and Ruji for the Temper Assassin. So all these guys basically are just now whittling, whittling away at, at Roach's HP, and IRG has no idea of what's about to happen. So they're really trying their best to pull this off, but they're running out of HP, they're running a lot of... A lot of things actually to um, do all this. Even the Bristle Pack is just losing so much HP right now. He can't tank for the team, and the slams are coming in from Urzo, from the um, Roche. He's now sitting at what a thousand hundred HP. So they might actually make it. Oh, another slam will be coming in. Bristle Pack will actually stay away from this, else they'll be giving away the position. So I don't might be worth it if they pull this off. They just don't. They just can't die. Wonderful play from AQQ taking the Roche there at around the 17 minute mark and well they're gonna go back to their lanes so done with the introductions done with the early roche and moving to the lane lag analysis will be coach Dota for you guys yeah so coach? this is this is a big advantage right now for alt qq because the supports are already level two from their get-go and an invis rune gonna get picked up by the jakiro so they might want to initiate on the stinker actually um level two templar assassin has a refraction, no mel yet, but the Jakiro, uh, here we go, has the liquid fire, has the ice bath, yeah, um, blocks out the Tinker, Tinker moves out of the way, doesn't get caught in the ice bath, so uh, not gonna get killed uh, right from the get go. Maybe Templar Assassin should have gotten a meld, but uh, yeah, 
picked up the side blades instead didn't actually have the mana to cast the meld either way so yeah tinker walks out of that and <laughs> lucky for him he, he's not gonna contribute to the early advantage of al -QQ assist on the off lane yeah we have <coughs> timbersaw off lane but he's going against uh dual lane dual lane so far uh, the jakiro might want to walk back but right now he's just guarding this tinker you know tinker uh you're not allowed to stay there our templar assassin is gonna <laughs> get free farm and jakiro is gonna ensure that okay so jakiro being vigilant in the middle lane zoning that tinker out so dual lane on the dazzle and the bristleback yeah dazzle actually doesn't need to guard the bristleback right now because i doubt that timber saw can do anything against the bristleback as of yet he doesn't have the, too much burst but yeah uh the whirling death actually did quite a bit of damage to the bristleback because he's a strength hero yes strength hero strength heroes actually uh lose quite a bit more from the whirling death because yeah they lose 15 percent of their stats and okay so templar assassin and jakiro sorry they do take down the tinker so yeah that's what happens if the uh tinker actually um, gets caught out of the position especially when the Jakiro is watching there he he got a haste rune so wasn't really too much of a problem there for the Jakiro to land an ice path probably here on the bottom lane however we have uh, tri lane from the radiant IRG they have the wisp and the orsa and the skyrath mage should be a potent combo but the bat rider is kind of uh hard to deal with because of that firefly the firefly will let him escape a lot of the situations that he might get, get himself into even with the skyrath mage slow um he can simply move up the cliff here or move out of the map here and uh survive almost any kind of initiation that irg might pose so Batrider gonna be able to farm safety, especially since he's a ranged hero. Not gonna have some difficulties there. He's already actually gained a lot of early game, uh, early advantage uh, EXP because of the Roshan. So he's gonna get the level six quite soon, maybe a five minute level six. So that's good for an off laner, for a solo off laner against a tri lane. But yeah, Jakiro just looking for something to do right now. Uh, might want to move in on this Timbersaw. Timbersaw is actually level 5, so it's also quite impressive as well. But yeah, they're not gonna get the Timbersaw if it's just 2 uh, 1 1. They need one more. They need the Dazzle, I suppose. But the Jakiro moves in. Okay. Uh, Hang on at the top lane, actually. The Bristleback's getting chased down by the Timbersaw. So do, do they have enough man, the, the, enough skills here to pull this off? But no, Timbersaw has actually caught out of position. It's getting slowed by that, or getting auto attack, and he will actually fall. So there goes the second blood there for AQQ. Timbersaw just overextending towards the Bristleback. And, you know, it's not really a good idea to dive. And, uh, to dive a tower and you're facing a bristleback, you know, it's unless you have a burst and it's facing in front of you, it's not a good idea. And I mean, that at the bottom lane, you see the bat rider getting silenced, risk getting get, giving strike mage additional movement speed, and they want to throw in the spirits arcane vault that actually hit, but no bat rider will be able to just fly away safely. Yeah, a little bit of action there coming in from the players. Yeah, the okay. wish might have wanted to tether to the. Orsa instead. The Orsa wasn't able to get any right clicks in, so that that might have made the difference between the uh, dead bat rider and uh, uh, an alive bat rider. But yeah, uh, this is okay. All right, all right. I I'll just be here when you need, when you can, when you can reconnect. But right now, okay. And there's silence on the bat rider. No more follow up because the Skyrath doesn't have the mana for the concussive shot, and bat rider's gonna. Uh, do the firefly and move out of the way of IRG. IRG, however, yeah, they, they take down the first tower of the map, so uh, that's something going for them. Uh, five minutes into the game, let's check if there's any significant advantage that AlQQ might have uh, accumulated. But wow, actually, actually, it's Team IRG that has superior net worth. If we take a look at the last hits, yeah, the. The Templar Assassin is at the top, but the next three on top is actually the Timbersaw, the Orsa, and the uh, Tinker. Right now, the Bristleback is getting zoned out pretty well by the Timbersaw. 
Timbersaw already has that level 6. Not gonna pursue this time. Not gonna dive. Last time he dived the tower, he died. So unless he can see where the supports are, he's not gonna dive that. But right now the Tinker is um, getting a bit of aggro from the Templar Assassin. But Templar Assassin, uh, they're not probably they're probably not gonna engage because the Dazzle is there. Might get slowed and the Templar Assassin also has the side trap already. So not really a good idea to pursue a Templar Assassin, especially since the Templar Assassin does have the refraction. So it's gonna be very very hard to deal with. Gonna be tanky, gonna take some hits to actually start dealing damage. But yeah, actually gold advantage for IRG, that's a bit surprising. But the XP, yeah, you have those uh, level advantages from the early Roshan and they do have two kills over IRG. So experience wise, yeah, it's a different story. But still, by no means is the game secured for either team. Timbersaw uh, doing a bit of harass on the Bristleback, yeah. Uh, Bristleback get really getting zoned out. He only has 14 last hits right now. Timbersaw has double, 28. Double the last hits of Bristleback, which is quite surprising actually because uh, the Bristleback should have been able to spam his Quill Spray, but uh, yeah, he doesn't have too much mana right now. Uh, I wonder what happened to his mana. Maybe he was uh, using the Quill Spray too much and ineffectively. Quill Spray is actually good even if the reactive armor there. However, Templar Assassin did kill the Tinker on the mid lane uh, with no supports at that. Just uh, engaged on the Tinker with right clicks probably. But uh, that was enough. The face boots of Templar Assassin was probably enough of a uh, movement speed difference for him to have been able to kill the Tinker. So right now, the Jakiro and Ursa having a bit of a dance here at the bottom lane. Jakiro already level 6 but uh, the Ursa yeah. still at level 5 apparently so level 5 even with the farm even with 36 last hits still at level 5 because he was in a tri lane earlier on and he had to share the exp with his support so yeah the wisp level 4 right now almost level 5 still no level 6 still no relocating potential so he really wants to get that level 6 to be able to do something Tinker has died twice already like the previous game, it's actually Tinker who was dying quite often. So Tinker might not uh, be the right kind of hero for IRG to be picking right now. But, but still they pick uh, Tinker and okay so the Templar Assassin just uh, picking heroes off left and right here in the mid lane. Not really expecting that to happen because it was a solo pick off but yeah apparently Templar Assassin is just so dangerous. But right now okay so uh, Timbersaw did get caught out by the Bristleback. Kind of paid for that. I think the lasso was there. Oh no, the lasso wasn't used actually. So, um, just a, a bit of harass from the bristleback and the uh, bat rider. Probably it was the sticky napalm that allowed the uh, bristleback to deal some damage on to the timber saw. Right now we have some aggression in the bottom lane. Uh, Jakiro almost fo fell. I think yeah, was saved by the dazzle. So yeah, that's what's actually a good counter to Ursa because Ursa relies on bursting down an opponent with the three swipes. But if you save yourself with uh, with the shallow grave, that's quite a bit of time for you to be able to move out. And your Ursa is practically useless during that time. So Tinker doing a bit of farm right now. He has a soul ring, but is still quite away from the boots of travel only has 600 gold still needs 1500 more um, might be a bit too late but the timber saw um, getting caught right now uh, just too slow already the Templar assassin really really fast even has a haste rune right now so no problem there to catch the timber saw even with the timber saw timber change uh, however yeah Skyrat Mage here at the bottom lane getting an engagement the Ursa falls to the Batrider uh, but they're in position right now. They're, they're in a bad position. The Skyrath Mage decides to teleport out. Uh, no stuns right there, but whoa, the massive burst damage coming in from the Shadow Wave. That was the Dazzle, Tree Creeps, and the Bristleback. And that's just um, 140 times 4 damage. A lot of burst. So even without the TP cancel, they managed to burst down the Skyrath Mage right there. 
So things looking pretty much in favor of AltQQ right now. Uh, net worth, it's taken downswing, almost 3,000 in favor of AltQQ already, and EXP a lot more, 8,000 in favor of AltQQ. Let's see how they recover from this. They do have a Tinker. Tinker still has the potential to recover, but um, like in the earlier game, you know, if the Tinker just dies so often, then the Tinker gets suffocated and isn't really able to farm too much. And if you're not snowballing with the Tinker, then you're gonna have a b hard time because their carries are getting farmed. And right now, the wow, the Tipper Assassin falls from the Skyrath Mage. Um, this the hero might fall as well. The chakra I'm doing that slow and the timber chain is there gonna do that last bit of damage But the wisp spirits are gonna finish him off the last few pieces of damage gonna get completed by the IO So that, that's something for them. They take down the Templar assassin. Yeah, the most farmed hero in the game I would think not worth. Yeah uh, And the uh, Jakiro but the middle tower right now was taken down by the dazzle and um, on the bright side for team IRG the Tinker was able to deny that here at the bottom lane it's um, Orsa facing against the Bristleback Bristleback teleports in might go against this uh, three man engagement uh, the Templar Assassin blinks in just going full aggro right now Skyrath Mage is definitely gonna die right now oh he casts the uh, the ult right before he falls but uh, not enough damage there's three of them already the heals are gonna come up and the Templar Assassin just uh, deals so much burst damage and the Bristleback finishes that off and also takes down the tower on top of that uh, failed three-man engagement the Wisp was however able to save himself teleported himself out should have maybe relocated someone after um, before teleporting out Maybe the timber saw was more valuable, but um, wasn't able to relocate. The timber saw fell, and they also lost the tier one top tower. On top of that, so right now, uh, slight defense coming in. Timber saw gonna get hit by the ice path. The chakra, I'm gonna slow down the Jakiro. Jakiro might fall right now. Damage coming in from the Skyrath, but the shallow grave is there. The wisp falls from the Templar assassin. The bristle bag actually. Tinker moves in, might be able to kill the, the Templar Assassin. Templar Assassin's shield goes up. The Ursa is not gonna be able to do right with damage. The Bristleback gonna finish the Ursa off, but the Timber Saw does some payback. Oh, such burst damage! Takes down the Tinker as well. Uh, no, the, the Timber Saw as well. The Templar Assassin just dealing so much burst damage actually. Right now has a blink. So the blink melt strike able to burst down the Timber Saw from around 40% uh, HP. Ah, uh, so wow, things are really getting out of hand for Team AltQQ. More than double the amount of kills right now. Uh, only 14 minutes in, actually. So, uh, let's check the net worth. Yeah, 4,000 already in favor of AltQQ, but experience, almost 10,000. Might be a bit more important to check the experience because most farmed right now in, t in um, Team IRG is actually the Tinker. But the Tinker's still level 9. If we check the hero levels, they have a bunch of level 12s already. A level 12 and a level 13 on Team AltQQ. And that's the Bristleback. So the Bristleback has a, a lot of right click damage and a lot of defensive potential coming in. And he also has a hood. So it's gonna be hard, hard to kill the Bristleback. And the Templar Assassin as well has a lot of has last hits, so stop on net worth. And right now, when he has a face and blink but has enough money to uh, go halfway to a big item like a desolator or maybe a BKB probably would go for a desolator right now because he's just so much able to uh, burst kill almost any hero in team IRG might be able to do uh, bigger amounts of damage with a desolator right now IRG take down the middle tower with not much resistance so that's something going their way um, things are coming out. They want to rotate. They want to uh, keep the gank momentum going on. Um, however, Team IRG take this time to retreat. Uh, Orsa. I think Orsa farm in the bottom lane. 
Uh, Orsa would be their beacon of hope. It's their carry. Uh, but uh, yeah, they haven't been able to utilize the uh, Wisp relocate with the Orsa. So maybe kind of um, misplay right there. But the Templar Assassin has an illusion. And they're doing the second Rosh attempt in the game only 16 minutes in. Because the first Roshan attempt actually was done uh, before the creep spawn. So it was at the 17 second mark, I think, that the Roshan was taken. So this is already the second Roshan in the game. Uh, Roshan falls to the Dire and the Templar Assassin collects the Aegis. Just gonna be so much of a nuisance for uh, IRG to deal with Templar Assassin. Templar Assassin hard to kill as is, uh, then followed up with an Aegis. Uh, yeah, you really don't want to engage on the Templar Assassin right now because if you do then that practically guarantees that anyone standing in Templar Assassin's way would die and in fact has a Desolator after only maybe uh, one more creep. Already has the two missile Hammers ready. So Desolator is definitely gonna come up um, in just a short while. Right now things are coming up from the dire side. Um, they might want to be a bit more uh, conservative in their positioning right now. Hide themselves a bit. Maybe wait for IRG to do a bit of a misplay and go into the jungle. But yeah, things are coming out. They spot the Jakiro. Maybe they want to go aggressive on the Jakiro, but they probably would pay for that. Oh, however, um, the Timbersaw does the Chakram on this area, cleaves the trees, and uh, spots out the QQ. But yeah, blink in. Away from the Bat Rider. There's a lasso on the Timbersaw. Uh, Templar Assassin actually might fall, but no, the Shallow Grave is there. Uh, saves him from the Skywrath Mage. And yeah, the Bristleback just going full retard on the IO. Oh, <laughs> kills the Wisp, but also falls uh, to the Skyrath. Yeah, it was the Skyrath. So uh, two for three exchange. Um, Alt QQ did lose the Bristleback, so that might be something worth a uh, um, note. But uh, the Skyrath Mage falls from the Blink. Of the Templar Assassin. Yeah, the Templar Assassin already has a Desolator, so we're looking at a burst damage here of around um, 200 plus a 200 and then another 80 here. So around 500 damage burst with the Melt Strike, uh, factoring in some uh, armor reduction on top of that. Then it's actually a lot. Um, yeah. The Ursa moved into the Shadow Shaman, but the Shadow Shaman shallowed grave himself and then blinked out and then teleported out. So this Ursa really behind in levels, still level 10. If we check the hero levels, yeah, Templar Assassin almost 16, Bristleback almost 16 actually, and the highest levels in Team IRG still 11. So they're really behind in EXP right now over 12, over 10,000, maybe 12,000 EXP in favor of AlqQ and in gold. 5,000 in favor of uh, at QQ. Now, the gold is uh, not really too much of a factor since uh, 5,000 is not really too much. Uh, a lot of that can be attributed to the Roshan kills. So, in terms of gold, yeah, they might be okay with their items right now. Maybe they'd want uh, a bit more items than the Ursa. Maybe a a Dagon on the Tanker. Tanker is actually um, just a couple of hundred away from the Dagon. So m might see some uh, place from the Tinker once he has that Dagon up. He has the Blink, so playing it a bit safe. Blink blinks backwards after that teleport in. But yeah, right now we have four on five movement here. Five men here on the, bot uh, on the middle lane for Team IRG. But um, yeah, the Wisp pickup is looking more and more dubious right now because they haven't been able to use the relocate even once to do a pick off on anyone because LQQ is just positioning themselves so solidly. They've been moving as a team, um, not giving the opportunity for a pick off from IRG. But right now, they spot out the Bristleback. Everyone is there. The Skyrath Mage is going to get caught by the Ice Path and will fall. But he'll be able to cast the ult before that, but not gonna do too much damage as it was shared. The Ursa gonna attempt to kill someone, but might not be able to. Um, the Batrider actually falls, but not before uh, the Tinker does. And uh, 
So the Ayo is last to fall. And that's another four man uh, loss for Team IRG. They do take down the Templar Assassin, but the Bristleback is still there. Bristleback is already at level 16, so uh, he can e easily whack this tower down if he wants to. Yeah, he's gonna take the tower down. Jakiro actually gets the last hit. Wow, Jakiro actually has 200, 2,300 gold right now in his inventory. Can um, maybe build halfway through an Aganims? That would be interesting, but not. Goes for the 4 staff, goes for the support item. Yeah, going pretty safe. That's okay. Dazzle also has something up his sleeve. He has a headdress. Uh, is he gonna build a mech? I think. Oh no, there's no mech right now for Alqq yet. So it might be the Dazzle. Probably gonna be the Dazzle to build the mech. But the Bristleback does have the pipe already. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm just so tired today. So the Bristleback does have the pipe, and the mech is gonna get built for uh, from the Dazzle. So it's gonna be much harder for Team IRG to get uh, pickoffs in the next team fights. Right now they're moving as far already, uh, moving as five. They don't want to get those um, one by one pickoffs because uh, just losing one or two heroes from the get go severely impacts their team fight potential. The Ursa blinks, however. Gonna try to kill the Dazzle, gonna try to bait out the Shallow Grave, but instead falls uh, to the Templar Assassin. Actually, not a good idea to blink to uh, blink in, in front of the Templar Assassin. Ooh, Templar Assassin takes down three fourths of the Io in one hit, and this Io can fall maybe. Two hits from the Bat Rider should be able to take this down, and the uh, on the back of that uh, Timber Saw actually. Oh. Was it Timbersaw that was killed in this area? But the Wisp does fall to the Batrider ultimately. So things are looking harder and harder for AltQQ. AltQQ again with a 2 to 1 advantage, 25 to 12. And um, I don't think they can take the tier 3, the high ground just yet, because the, the Ticker is able to defend that quite well. The March of the Machine is still an issue to deal with because it, it goes against magic resistance. Or no, uh, it's reduced by magic resistance but goes through magic immunity. So things like that will be cleared up pretty much in the 6.82 patch. But for now, yeah, the Tinker's uh, March of the Machines is uh, still a nuisance. Still annoying to deal with. So things right now looking pretty bad for IRG. Let's take a look at another look at the net worth. Yeah, over 10,000 gold. This time around, 10,000 gold already uh, in favor of AlqQ and EXP, yeah, 15,000. So in terms of hero levels, yeah, 17, 17 on the Bristleback and the Templar Assassin, while the highest level on Team IRG is the Tinker and the uh, Timber Saw. But I don't think Tinker has been able to contribute too much in terms of team fight. But right now, yeah, here we go. Another team fight. The Ursa gets lassoed and it's gonna fall, probably from the Bat Rider. Yeah, the Templar Assassin gets uh, hit so much by the Skyrath ult, but the Templar Assassin there to finish him up. The Io da uh, Spirit damage actually uh, finishes that off. The Skyrath means maybe enough damage to kill this Bat Rider, but the Bat Rider got shallow grave, and everyone else just started wailing on the supports. The Bat Rider was able to survive that engagement, and that's really what the dazzle brings if they try to focus a hero down then you shallow grave that hero and then you make them pay for trying to focus down a hero because everyone else is uh still there in the team fight still there dealing damage and causing mayhem on the rest of the team so this dazzle pick paying off really four kills on the support four kills and four assists even um uh, more kills than the bat rider even so they're looking to push this tier 2 tower down. Might be able to do so. The Jakiro um, Liquid Fire is already at level 4. It uh, affects buildings. I'm not sure if it's 50% damage. But yeah. Uh, yeah, 50%. 15, 15. Right now the Thinker attempted to teleport in. But yeah, he wisely backs out. Uh, might get caught by the Ice Path. So probably not the best of ideas. But yeah, this tower is going to melt. The 
Lasso is there again for the Timbersaw. Timbersaw, however, uh, still tanky. Uh, not gonna die right on the get go. The Tower of Dust Vault is the hero. But the Bite Rocket Driver is getting low. Uh, the Ursa takes him down. The Gristleback not in a good position, but the Ursa not in a position to attack as well. He gets a few swipes on the Takiro. The hero does fall, and the Timbersaw also takes down the Bristleback. So a lot of gold going the way of Team IRG right now. Ursa has the blink, and the Dazzle is gonna get saved by the Shallow Grave, and nothing they can do right now. Templar Assassin still blinks in, and the burst damage right there from the Sky, uh, from the Templar Assassin, 300 per hit, and a lot of armor reduction. Wow. So this Templar Assassin needs to be a force to be reckoned with, even on her own. Right now around 250 damage, yep, because of that refract. Plus added damage uh, from the melt and armor reduction. Uh, yeah, gonna do a lot of damage in team fights. Uh, also lowers the armor of this tower, but uh, push is gonna stop because of that fortification. Uh, right now, the Dazzle preemptively casts a Shadow Grave and teleports out, so no problem there for Dazzle. Except our Assassin blinks on the IO get 60% of the IO's HP. Uh, Rocket there was fired just to zone him out but gonna deal no damage. So Wisp right now only has an earn to his name. Not too much in terms of items. Uh, the Timbersaw already however managed to farm uh, Bloodstone. And let's check the rest of the team's items. The Tinker has a Dagon 3. So might be able to burst down a couple of the heroes. Maybe the Batrider or the Jakiro if they don't get uh, helped by the Dazzle, but this is the third Rosh in the game already. Third Roshan gonna fall again to out QQ. And okay, a BKB activated by the Templar Assassin for maybe no reason. Maybe just to save herself from the Skyrath Mage. The Skyrath Mage has been able to burst the Templar Assassin down quite often actually. Because the damage does come in waves and uh, can take down the attractor cards. But right now they blink initiate on the Tinker. Tinker falls. Uh, they uh, drag the Ursa with the lasso. This Ursa might fall very quickly actually to the Templar Assassin. The EO is caught in the back and also falls. So that's a 3 for 1 uh, in exchange for Al QQ. They blink in on Timbersaw. Timbersaw not gonna be able to do much of anything. Not gonna be able to. Uh, chain his way out of that and that's a 4 for 1 exchange 4 heroes still up on QQ. gonna be able to do a lot of damage but yeah the bristleback pursues the skyrath mage and actually takes him down right before he hits the fountain the fountain actually in 6.82 is elevated already so uh, a bit of help right there um, people might not be able to dive or pursue uh, as much but the yeah the mid tower mid tier three lane of racks falls and they might want to move in here at the bottom. They don't have the hero though and the bristleback almost gonna die but uh, the shadow grave is casted and he teleports out. No, he uses the cheese. It was a fake and then <laughs> reinitiates. So they take down the timber saw and now they have room to take down the tower. The tower does fall. Bristleback is there. Gets slowed by the psionic trap. Gets slowed again by the Chivas and right now gonna fall yeah damage to the crystal back and the temper assassin is there uh Tinker laser someone the Batrider and Batrider died but Tinker also died in exchange for that so they're probably gonna lose a second set of racks right now to team AQQ the Skyrath Mage also got out the temper assassin just dealing so much burst uh Io lose a savage HP from one single right click of the Templar Assassin Templar Assassin has a crystals right now so a crit might be able to finish a hero or two off actually with the psionic blades the dazzle teleports out already has low hp so they've taken down two two lanes of racks and templar assassin getting a bit greedy moving into the third lane three heroes however for team irg are still dead so they might be able to push this if the bristleback assists in the right clicks but no I think Templar Assassin doesn't want to push, but he has an Aegis, so he, he still can. But the Timbers are gonna get hit by the lasso, and no escape right there. Falls to the Bristleback. This Bristleback has killed so many people, 18 kills. 
Right now, the Scarab Mage is also just gonna come down, hits the Bat Rider, kills the Bat Rider. Stumper Assassin actually almost dead, blinks in, <laughs> still kills the Scarab Mage. Gonna fall to the Tinker Rocket, but uh, still has that Aegis, so he might want to re engage, might want to blink to the IO. Uh, no, he decides to move back. Instead, the Bristleback gonna fall to the Ursa. They've lost the tier 3 mid already, uh, tier 3 top already, so. Uh, here we go, the Templar Assassin starts moving in on the mini racks. Uh, they might not be able to do anything against that because the uh, Timber Saw is already dead, but uh, Buyback coming in from Bristleback. Yeah, Buyback coming in from Tinker, Templar Assassin up on the refract. Sorry for the late return here for the cast there. Ursa Warrior has the blade, goes in for the, for the Templar Assassin, the Mega Kill streak is taken. Now that's what's sitting there alone. However, we did see a Buyback coming in from somebody with the Bristleback, and he is here right now taking down Io during that flash. Shiva Scar's up and running, gonna, gonna slow down the Ultra Warrior and the BKB is getting popped right now. And he has the pipe of insight. He will survive a little, a little more harassment here uh, against the Tinker and the Timber Saw, but the pure damage of the Shark is gonna take him down. Now, Bat Rider is, has the ultimate up on the Tinker, but he's getting slowed a lot and he's getting zapped. But the Shallow Grave up on Dazzle, wonderful save there. He will be able to survive and just walk away with that Firefly. Now, Warside Io now chasing down this Dazzle. That's what have, doesn't have the Shadow Grave yet. It's now sitting, still waiting for the Shadow Grave to, to um, go down. Jacker is here up and running. The relocate from the IO is going to save that or from the Urza Warrior and himself from that engagement. So yeah, we can see that IRG Street really had a bad time defending against LQQ. And wow, before the game ends, I was able to see the GG call here. And GG has been called an IRG. The series of this Battle of Street was taken by a sweep from uh, by AQQ. And they will be the newcomers will be taking this game. 2-0. Wonderful play there from AQ. AQQ giving IRG one of our OGs a little bit of a hard time there to take the victory and in the end it is LQQ of Triumph. Okay, so we're now moving to the um, awarding ceremony with uh, AQQ and I hope that you guys are happy with the stream. I'm sorry if I wasn't like I was here for only 1% of the time but I will be wrapping up for coach right now tonight so that we may take a rest and we'll be seeing you guys on Saturday and once again tonight was um, most of the time was coach Lora and me Salimini TV and we'll be signing out for tonight all right so good night guys that's again LQQ taking the best of three series to endo